Jay Nicholas, Caddis Fly Shop, Chris Daughters, early in the morning, lots of caffeine. We're tying a an electric blue squid row that the steelhead and the king salmon are just going to chomp to pieces. Using a double br <laughs> dubbing brush here in the rear behind my stinger uh, loop. And now I'm going to put on some uh, Crazy Legs electric purple rubber legs in the back. Want them a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer than my stinger loop. Put some on, kind of spread these around here. Quickly rotate the shank in that HMH tube fly adapter, which is really nice. And then a nice little pinch of rubber legs. This is one of the longer squid row flies tied on a, say, a 45 millimeter, 45 to 55 millimeter shank. I'm going to put some black STS dubbing using my brush in front of those rubber legs. Now those are pre-prepared shanks, yes, pre-prepared dubbing brushes. That's correct. I mean, which you know makes this saves a lot of time. Go fast in terms of education, but it's uh, you know it, it, those are other processes that the people. That's right. That's right. And if you are fortunate enough to see the other uh, Catisfy videos in the Squid Row series, all the mysteries and the astonishing tips and techniques of tying this fly will be revealed to the average fly tire, such as yourself and myself. So we want this body to be nice and slender. Could we palmer a hackle over this? We sure could. That would give it more bulk, more, more uh, something, more fishiness, perhaps. But this nice slim body is going to sink a little bit more easily. So here we go. We're going to use these electric blue, I don't think they call them electric blue, but I do, fly enhancer legs for the forward section of this fly. And I want to see if I have these about the right length. Lo and behold, I do. I think I got lucky. And that is just about uh, back of the stinger loop, but not as far back as the hook. That's correct. If you go if you go as long as the hook bend, you're going to get some tangling. And you don't want that. That's a no-no. A little dab of cement here. These flat rubber legs, they're, they're almost gel-like. Um, I love the grizzly barred rubber legs for my poppers. Uh, they, they fish well on this fly, but they don't tie as nicely. These fly enhancer legs are really, they're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Great color combinations. We'll, we'll do another fly shortly that will have some root beer and orange in it kind of a more subtle color pattern. And the rubber legs don't, they don't need a ton of turns to secure them. So this next uh, dubbing brush is going to, it's a STS from Hairline and it has a little bit of steely blue ice dub blended in with it and it it's really nice. You could use straight steely blue ice dub. 
I don't like the combination of it with black. So now I'm going to hold these out of the way, hopefully, and bring that dubbing brush right through. Also get in front of my thread, take a couple of turns. By having dubbing behind the rubber legs, having them facing forward, you help keep those standing out at a nice angle. Now we'll take our little pipe cleaner here. If you see the first video in this series, we have anatomy of a squid row. So it's like a movie theme or a TV theme. These help. This is a medium plated lead eye. There's lots of other options. The ball's eyes are very nice. The hairline heavy plated lead eyes. Black eyes are really, they look cool. The pseudo eyes, those how I'm wrapping around the base. It's not just your figure eight turns that secure that. It's wrapping around the base. Do a little whip finish here. And then I'm going to put in my final brush. And, and this is, now I, I could dub on a collar at this point um, of Arctic Fox Tail. I could wind on a Marabou Blood Quill at this point. What I'm doing here is simply putting a dubbing brush right behind the dumbbell eyes. Hold that wire out of the way there. Get a few thread turns. And that wire, that wire dubbing brush isn't going anywhere. Or so I claim. A couple sets of whip finishes. Do trim. Let's unveil this masterpiece. Scott Howe inspired squid row. Length. We got a few of those rubber legs are just a little bit too long. There you go.